Hello my friends, David Kessler here and welcome back to the studio. Today I want to talk about inspiration, which I've uh, talked about on numerous other occasions because I think it's so important uh, and always comes back to a famous quote by the wonderful painter Chuck Close who said, amateurs wait for inspiration, the rest of us just show up and work. That pretty much sums it up. Now, inspiration can be an amazing thing, right? It can be an amazing thing. Uh, but what I don't want is that amateur painters to confuse this idea of waiting for inspiration as opposed to showing up every day and doing the work it takes to be a painter. Look, I'm a painter and an educator, uh, and my job is to show up and paint. So that's what I do. It's my job. I certainly can't sit around and wait for inspiration to strike me uh, when I have commissions to do and deadlines and paintings and uh, that sort of thing, I can't not get in the studio paint. It's not an option. I don't wait for inspiration. I just show up every day and paint. That's the job that you have to do. So don't confuse painting with this idea that you have to have inspiration. It's a myth perpetuated by media. I mean, how many times do we see in, in movies this idea of the, the artist you know, waiting for this inspiration to strike or this angst, this frustration of waiting for something to happen? Look, it doesn't work that way. You just show up every day, do the work, and all the inspiration you ever need will come from the work. It's the over and over and over and over. All the ideas are in your studio waiting for you. You just have to show up every day, do the work, do the painting that it takes for those ideas to come. By showing up and being in the studio, you're allowing any sort of ideas and flow and inspiration, if you want to call it that, to come to you while you're working. And that's what it takes. The paintings that you do today will influence what you do tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day after that. It's not inspiration. It's getting in the, in the studio and doing the work. Now, inspiration is great. You know, if we could rely on that, if it was uh, something that we knew would show up uh, or, or inspire us all the time, it'd be great. But it's not. So you can't wait around for it. You can't hope for it. All you can do is get in the studio and do the work. Now, if you want real inspiration, think about this. We use the same basic materials that artists have used for centuries for work and inspiration. Color, paint, right? Think about it. Rembrandt, Picasso, Matisse, Cezanne, Vermeer, they all use the same thing. The same thing that we use today to make paintings is the same thing that they used. Now, it doesn't matter if it's watercolor or acrylic or oil. What I'm talking about is color and the ability to take pigment from a tube or a jar, apply it to a substrate to make beautiful work. That's what it comes down to. Think about that. Every time you go to the studio, you're doing the same thing that Picasso did, or Matisse did, or Vermeer did, or Rembrandt did, by applying paint with some sort of a tool to a substrate. Now, obviously, those folks were geniuses and the best that were ever part of painting. You don't have to be that. You just have to carry along that trend, that, that uh, line of work. That's all you're doing. You're carrying that forward to other people. So don't worry about inspiration. Get in the studio. Use the color, right, that all these famous artists have always used. Be inspired by the work that you're doing, and that's all you'll ever need for your whole art career. Believe me. Don't wait for inspiration. Just do the work. And I hope this was helpful for you, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.